Captain Logan. And I'm Vince. And it's time once again to recommend stuff. Vince? Yes. Uh, what do you recommend today? I'm going to recommend an action figure. For those of you who don't already know, I have a Two-Face collection, and this is my most re recent acquisition. I actually got this in the mail today. I'm actually, like, really jealous of that, by the way. That is a really, really cool figure. There, there are other things, like this is a 13-inch figure, and what's cool about it, it comes with a, a cloth clothes, so he actually has a little tie, and, and, and a whole suit. I mean, it's really neat. And uh, what's, what's interesting about this guy is he also comes with gun holsters. He comes with guns that have separating clips, like you can take the clips out. That's really cool. And uh, then he has fists and hands, and you can take the hands off, and I think... I haven't taken it out of the box, but uh, I think the hands will bend. They're bendy fingers, so there's no real points of articulation. You just bend them. Oh, weird. I think that's I think that's what it is because it shows pictures of the hands on the back of the box holding the gun. Oh, interesting. But well, the guns. Okay. Because there's two of them, and apparently I have a fascination with characters that use twin cults. So, there's uh, Two-Face, yeah, Punisher. Yeah, that follows, doesn't it? Phantom. The Shadow, Phantom. I, everybody I like uses twin cults. One of these days, Superman's going to pull out twin cults, and I'll be like, holy crap, I didn't realize Superman was cool. When did that happen? And they're not all pulp or golden age characters, either. Yeah. <laughs> That's, this is bizarre. It's, I just know, did I you ever have a fascination for Tomb Raider ends? Actually, no. I okay, all right. Just like Tomb that's, that's where he draws the line of the twin calls. Okay. Yeah. It has to be burly men and ugly men. It cannot okay. be right. attractive women. Uh, do you like Neo from The Matrix? Uh, not really. Okay, uh, well, there you go. It's not burly or the oh, other thing you said. Oh, what was the other thing? Ugly. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's more like an average type of guy to me. Anyway. I thought you were going to say he's more like a woman. <laughs> he's more like a woman. <laughs> well, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I recommend these things. Now, there's more than just these. These 13-inch deluxe collection. I was going to ask you who else they put out. Uh, that's DC Direct, right? Yeah, these DC Direct 13-inch figures. I haven't done a lot of research on these. There is, I know they don't tell you on the box. Oh, hang on. Collect the entire line of 13-inch deluxe co deluxe collection figures. Batman. There's a Batman Begins figure. The 13-inch Christian Bale, uh, Green I Lantern, a. Uh, Superman Brandon Ralph, returns. Superman Returns figure, okay. Alex Luthor, there's a regular Batman, there's an Aquaman, and a Flash. Now, I've seen two out of the three. In fact, there's a guy in Lawrence that had, at least, I don't know if he still does, but he used to have the Aquaman figure, and now that the cool cool new Aquaman series is out, I was like, I wonder how much he's selling that guy for. I never paid attention to it before. I'm that way, too. I mean, two weeks after the Jeff Johns Aquaman started, I bought an Aquaman figure because I couldn't help myself. I noticed that last year the uh, Ghostbusters Legion comics were going for about five bucks an issue, and they've jumped up to about ten. So at least that's the number ones are all about ten now. So there's that, and uh, you know what's cool and new does definitely affect the prices of what's old. So thanks to everybody for not liking Two Face that much because <laughs> I got this guy for forty bucks. But uh, there's actually, still that three hundred dollar bust you gotta get at some point. You know what really bothers me is that uh, Dark Knight 12-inch Two-Face, you can hardly find it for less than uh, like 280 it's, They probably didn't make very many. It's like, when it first came out, you could find it for about 150 maybe 180 Now it's jumped up 100 bucks, so it's kind of depressing. I wonder if that's from the same, um, I don't even know if it was a line. I was going to say, oh, it's I don't a know if it was... Line. Is it Hot Toys? See, yeah. that's the, that's that's why because they don't they, they never put out a, a large quantity. Yeah, there's there was there was two lines of the uh, of the twelve inches. There was the Hot Toys, and then I think the other one was DC Direct. Yeah, or, or no, were those all cloth ones too? Yeah. Okay, because see, I've got the Joker from the DC Direct one, mm -hmm. which I which I found for fifty bucks at one point. It's it's like a hundred and twenty hundred fifty dollar figure. Well, yeah. maybe it's a hundred. I forget what it is. But I think that's all they put out was Batman and Joker for the DC Direct, but for the... Uh, oh, that's such a good figure. Oh, well, we know for a fact that they put out the Dark, the, uh, the Batman Begins 13-inch uh, <laughs> yeah. Batman. <laughs> but that's Begins, not Dark Knight. Because he's, 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 he's on the back of the box. This has nothing to do with anything, but now, that, but now that we're talking about Begins and Dark Knight and figures and stuff, can I ask you a, qu a quick question? Do you pref which, which costume do you prefer for Batman? Uh, between the two movies? Yeah. It, it never really occurred to me to be a big deal. I really? Okay, both. all right. I, Why didn't I say it was a big deal? I was just asking if you had a preference. You know, I the way I see it in my mind is that uh, 
the bat suit is sort of malleable depending on how you uh, uh, like it's tactical okay this is the thing that I'm going to need as I've progressed and uh, I like them both I mean the second one looks a little bit more soldiery I guess yeah but you see I just the only reason I, I, I asked is because um, I always preferred the begins one just because it wasn't so busy on the chest like I felt like mm -hmm. the Dark Knight one there was just too much going on like um, and, and then and then people say, well, the really great thing about the about the Dark Knight suit is that he can move his neck. I'm like, okay, well, add the neck thing to the first suit. I think it's a better suit. Like that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I like them both. I, it never it was never such a big, you know. There, I never really saw a big difference. So that's kind of where I came down on it. See, the thing is, with if you if you if you're just looking at the movies, because he's in the darkness most of the time. What do you what do you look for? I have a figure. I wanted to see. Uh, well, I guess you might be right about that. But I'm just saying, since he's in the darkness most of the time, you don't, you wouldn't necessarily think about it. But like, I saw um, pictures for what that costume was going to look like on a white backdrop six yeah. months before the movie came out, and went, "Oh, it's too busy." I, 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 I may have that. never even thought about it had I not seen those those promotional pictures. Yeah, you know, when he's in the dark, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Anyway, I don't know why we're talking about this, but I just thought I'd, I, I, I ask anyway. Vince. I'm going to go ahead and do my recommend. Um, uh, Hell really? has just frozen over. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. Hell has frozen over because I am going to recommend an anime, Vince. Can you believe it? Yeah. Can you believe it? Uh, first anime I found myself really, really liking. Uh, now, I'll say there, there have been others that I like things in or things about, um, and I still never saw like Cowboy Bebop, which is the one people always... You know, you know, the I have it. And say, hey, you need to watch that. So, so when I, you want to watch the good one, I have it. I will. So I still haven't done that. Um, I, I, I like, I like Helsing, okay, uh, but only up to a certain point, and then I didn't really yeah. care for it anymore. Um, but uh, Eric sent me this for Christmas. Uh, this is one of the um, Christmas presents I got from Eric this year, and um, he sent me Full Metal Alchemist, which is really good. Uh, have you seen any of this? Yeah, I've seen um, most of it. It's okay. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty solid. Um, I, I, I really like it. I uh, and and uh, it's got. It's got a premise that really appealed to me from the very, very beginning. Um, what's really neat about it out the gate is that, well, first of all, the animation is really, really pretty. Uh, first of all, it's just a really pretty show to look at. But um, the, uh, the the thing that the thing that uh, got me out the gate was I can't decide what genre it is. You know what I mean? Like it plays like a science fiction series, but then it's alchemy. You, yeah. you know, and so it's, it's really neat. I mean, like they talk about alchemy like it's science. You know, that's the thing, is that they treat it like there's a science to it, but it's truly but fantasy it, because there's... It really is. They're like, equivalent exchange. Well, you can't change this into this. I'm like, that makes no sense why you can't change that into that. Some Sometimes they have, you know, decent logic, but there are times that I'll... Oh, no, it's... Go, yeah, there's, really? there's some, you know, there's some, there's some <laughs> funny stuff. But, but, um, but what, what, what I really like about it is that it's a... It's a show that's that, that's that's simply all about consequences. You know, I mean, that's that that's that that's the idea of the show is actions oh, yeah. have consequences. And uh, guess what? That's what makes up really good stories. So, like from the beginning, they know what they're doing. The storytelling it's really it's, it's really cool. Um, and there's some there's some really sad and really twisted stuff in this. I mean, like you know, you've got um, the the basic premise. If you've not seen it, is uh, you've got two boys who um, learned how to do alchemy um, from their father who ran off and they haven't seen in a long time. And um, the 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 oldest um, hates him because he left, you know. And um, and when they're uh, and then they started practicing alchemy and they're like kind of project prodigies. And when their mother dies, they try to bring her back to life, and um, a la fifth season Buffy, they find out you can't do that. <laughs> and, and so um, uh, they, they end up uh, losing uh, uh, their... Uh, in the case of the oldest brother, he loses part of his body, and the youngest brother actually loses his entire body, mm -hmm. and um, that's why he's a big robot. And, uh, or, or, or in, actually, he's a, he's, a suit, he's a suit of armor. Um, but he's, he's actually not in the suit of armor. He's, he just, his, his, his soul is bonded to it. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's the part that, um, that, that, I, that I think is, uh, is most interesting, is, is, is watching that kid having to deal with not being human anymore and not being able to do human stuff. And like, it's, really, you know, it's really, really sad. Like, um, I don't know. There are, there are, of course, things I don't like about it, um, and, and some of it is just basic anime stuff that has always kind of kept yeah. me from, 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 from getting in, in the anime, which is we can have our really brooding serious scenes, and then we have our comedy scenes, but the comedy scenes are never funny. 
Uh, <clears throat> at least to me, I don't find them amusing. And then, no, and, I'm right and, there and, with you. That's and that's the reason that just a and that's just a cultural divide. Um, the thing about it is, there's less of that here than I've ever seen in an anime. Um, so, like, or at least most of the ones I've seen, like, have less, more of that than this does. And so I'm able to kind of get past it in this, although some episodes have more of it than others. But I mean, like, this, you have, you have just these kind of constant, um, these constant uh, tropes of, of, okay, the the oldest brother is tiny, and he gets angry when people call him small, and he always gets mad about that. And and uh, and, and it's it's like these it's like these these giant like extreme reactions to everything. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't like that. It it it, it, it takes me out because the show is really taking itself seriously. And then you have these 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 weird scenes because it's anime where you know some. some where somebody reacts really strongly to something, and so then their face turns different, and yeah. that's supposed they, to be funny they for some reason. Chibi. Yeah, and I, I don't, I don't get it. That's just me. I just don't get it. That's really the only thing I don't like about that series. It but it's the only thing work. that doesn't work about it. Uh, and most importantly for me, the American voice acting is really, really good. Uh, which is my brothers met the guy unusual. that voices the main character. Oh yeah. Or at least I think it was the main character. It was somebody in Full Metal Alchemist, one of Victor's favorite guys. Victor is my brother. For those of you who aren't following the stream of thought, there. But um, but yeah, the 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 voice acting is really good, right. and uh, that's been something that's kept me from some anime sometimes. Is uh, I mean, like, not that I'm like like horribly against reading things in subtitles. Um, yeah. I love Metropolis, and you have to watch that subtitle. But yeah, okay. uh, but but anyway, um, I don't know. It's a great show, and um, I'm only like halfway through the first season. Um, but it is on Netflix. Uh, if people want to watch it on Netflix, and I think um, all the way to whatever's current is on Netflix right now, because I think Brotherhood's on there too. The anime Metropolis or the? No, I'm talking about the anime Metropolis. Okay. Yeah, because like... the other one was not a Japanese film, then. Well, no, but uh, you would, you know, you you have no choice. There is no words in Metropolis. Right, but that's not what I was talking about because we were talking about the animes. Yeah. Thought I'd ask. Anyway, Vince. Uh, well, that's that's what I recommend. Yeah. Have you seen Akira? No, I still haven't. I can't get my hands on it. I'd recommend Rick Akira. There's there is none of the goofy stuff in that, or at least nothing that I recall. Anyway. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, I'll have to do that then. Well, thanks for watching us recommend stuff. We'll recommend something for you once again next week. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince.